adorable baby moths are in danger. Now I must find each one and save them before it's too late. Can I be the hero they deserve? Or will they be lost and broken forever? Stay tuned to find out. Can I help you? Do you need a signature? Hi, I have an urgent package for you. Uh, okay, well, can you leave me be to open it in peace, sir? Mailman these days. I'm gonna go in my house and open this in peace. Guys, before I open this, make sure you give this video a like and a thumbs up. <laughs> and we have a letter in subjects of saving. So the letter reads, Brianna, we have seen your generous acts of kindness in saving baby animals, and we need your help to save seven baby mops. Apparently, they're gonna each have a package and a book next to them. And first, we gotta start with the baby iron golem. That sounds so cute. He was last seen running from Bonton Village in silence. Locals say he ran into an old forest north of the village. I'm coming for you, baby iron golem. I've never been to Bonton Village, but I think it's towards the forest. Ew, why? First the mailman, now the witch. Actually, this looks kind of like a cute witch. She's like kind of kawaii style. You must be here for the baby iron golem. A sad affair this is. The poor thing ran off in such a fright. Anyway, I'm not sure if they will be much of help, but I brewed up a few potions for your journey. Please help him quickly. That's very nice. Also very strange for a witch to help me, but also, ma'am, sir, I am a little confused why you didn't save him yourself. <laughs> this is a baby iron golem. He's so cute. Look at his little eyes. I can't breathe. I Heimlich. In case you don't know, the Heimlich is not a name. That means this baby iron golem is choking. So we have potion of pugilism. Hold on. I know I'm in a rush to save his life, but what does that mean? Pugilism. Pugilism. You're supposed to go to be able to do the Heimlich. Scale 0 0.5. Oh, scale, like size. Let's do potion of shrinking. Uh. I don't feel like I was supposed to look. I was just transported inside of the baby iron golem and he's smiling at me from the inside. This is a little creepy. Where do we go? This must be his windpipe. <gasps> He's got an obstruction. No, no. This is where the pupil legend of pugilism comes into play. Got to drink this potion. And now, can I can I break the bo <gasps> oh, 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 no, no. There is a lot of acid in here. That looks like your stomach after you have a lot of Coca-Cola. How do I get out of here? Which way is up and which way is down? I don't know the way to escape. Good thing we have acid resistance. This witch was very thorough in her research. Like she knew exactly what was wrong with this golem. Where am I going? She knew exactly what was wrong with this golem to the point it's a little creepy. Oh, and we are here, ladies and gentlemen. I somehow acquired water, but I only had five seconds left. I saved him. I think he's fine now. Wait, wait, we can't dilly-dally. So I saved a baby iron golem, the first of the seven mobs, from choking. And now we have to save a baby ghast. We have to head to the watchtower. Okay, we've almost made it to the watchtower and it is on fire, ladies and gentlemen. There is a baby ghast in the middle of the fire. I bet he's angry and confused because he's supposed to be in the nether. He's stuck in there. I can see his little flippers. This is going to be a mess. I, I don't want to enter a building that is on fire, but what is this? Nothing. Perfect. Just what I needed. Hey, don't shoot at me. I'm trying to save you. I can't control the fire. I'm not meaning to shoot at you. Please get me out of here. I want to get you out of here because I am getting shot by fireballs. Um, hmm. Wait, it's trapped. What if I open? Can I open this? Leave, 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 leave. Oh, it left the wrong way. Okay, so opening the gate, let the baby gas out, and he has a very cute little face. Oh, it's still burning. I did that. We need to fix it. I wish I could shoot water instead. Maybe we can try that. Take me in your hand and walk into the water. What? I have a gas in my hand, and he lost his facial expression. That was creepy. Okay, I'm gonna do you justice, baby little gas. We are gonna save the world. One water squirt at a time. Look at that. Okay, can I put you down now? This seems wrong. You were a lot bigger. I don't feel like I should be able to hold you. Oh, okay. There he is. He kind of looks like a grandma. Can I follow you? I promise you won't even know I'm here. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. 
Of course you can't. Well, please don't eat me. Of course you can. Third of the seven mobs is a baby witch. Okay, so we've made it to the cottage where the baby witch lives. I'm gonna leave you outside just so you don't cause any more flame and trouble. Lady witch, can I enter your house? I'm trying to save your child. Thank goodness, I've tried everything. I don't even know where to begin explaining what happened to her. Just go up to her room and see for yourself. Okay, I'm going up to her room, but I've never been in your house before, so I don't exactly know where. <sighs> if I was a baby witch, I would live in this purple room with the computer. Is she on the screen? You, help, I'm stuck in here. I pressed a weird button on my computer and now I'm in this video game. I think I need to beat the game and it's so difficult, I keep dying, it feels weird. Well, wish me luck in three, two, one. Power, reset, immersion mode. I think we're going full immersion mode. Oh, this feels weird. Hi, oh, so cute. Okay, Beatrix, I am here to save you. This is a dungeon crawler. You need to clear each room of its enemies and defeat the boss at the end. I haven't even made it to the boss yet. Chess, give items. That, that, that's all you're gonna tell me? Beatrix, are you not gonna help me? Come on, suit up. I got my sword, I'm ready to go. Okay. You ready? I'm opening the door in three, two, one. Oh, oh, already got him, already got him. No, Beatrix, I love you, but you're kind of in my way and you're not helping me at all. So I'm a little offended by this. Okay, buddy, now we have a dungeon key to let more mobs come out and harm us and a fireball flinger, which shoots out fireballs. I'm sure you know what to do with that. I'm um, sure we do, Beatrix, right? I'm unlocking it and we're gonna shoot some fireballs. Beatrix, move out of the way. Oh my gosh, this is not good. Beatrix, come on. I just threw one directly at her. I don't know what's gonna happen. She's gonna turn into a Chick-fil-A sandwich here shortly. Oh my goodness, there's so many mobs in this one room. He is shooting the wrong way. That worked out to my benefit. Did you did you say that the mob boss is through this door? Because Bree does not want to go through this door then. I don't see it though. No, Beatrix, we're good. I don't even see him. We can do this. We just have to defeat all the cute slime. It feels bad. Level complete. Finally, we did this. I think this means we can get out of the game. <gasps> yes. And I thought games were supposed to be fun. I'm not pressing that button again. I'd rather not get fully immersed. Thanks for your help. You're much better at the game than me. You're welcome. This is my favorite kind of video. I love helping people. That's why I was a nurse. And now it's time to help a baby creeper. Okay, so my baby Gast and I have finally reached the sea and I have found a huge pirate ship. And considering the baby creeper was lost at sea, I have a bad feeling about this. Do you know who Captain Hook is from Peter Pan? He ain't a good man. Okay, we have oh, crewmate Sally. So there's definitely some pirates on this ship. Oh, hey, he just came out of the river, a wee baby. Never before have my eyes laid sight on such a creature in a little bath and storage. Keep him from exploding like a powder keg. Well, when the others make it back from the village, you can show us all. I don't know what kind of accent that was. And please, 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 baby gas, do not show them where we are. So it looks like the captain went downstairs and we have a uh, crewmate, Sally. <gasps> no, I'm wrong. The captain is still out. Well, don't worry, have no fear. I have gunpowder and a cannonball and I'm not afraid to use it because I see clear as day that there is a cannon right here. I think this would lead us to the creeper. Now we can't make it in there without doing a little something like. <laughs> That took no effort. He basically just walked the plank without even saying anything. He literally didn't respond. We can't do this without lighting the cannon. Baby Gas, can you light the cannon for me? Please, please, please. I can lit the cannon. Thank you. Oh, you saved him. He's so cute. Oh my goodness. I just ran down here and harmed myself. There is a little baby creeper and he's on a leash. Get him off. I won't hurt anyone. Please let me go. Oh. I have to stay away or, you know, thanks for the help. Who knows what they were going to do to me? You won't regret this. No, I won't. Be safe. He's so cute. I don't want to leave him behind. But what's next? Oh my goodness. We have, we have the fifth baby mob to save and it's a baby spider. Oh my goodness. Do you guys see what I'm seeing? That's a tall building and we have to get on top of it. I am not excited here. Can we just go in though? Like there's probably an elevator and it's locked. Yay. Oh my goodness. How are we going to get up there? 
Are you telling me that this spider literally climbed all the way up there? Am I allowed to be going up here? I am literally scaling the side of a skyscraper right now. I actually got the tinglys in real life. I don't know why. This just seems really high. Oh my gosh. We are so high up in the sky. The gas literally is so far below us. We have some sort of platform that should be able to take us to the top, but I bet you it will need something to turn it on. Yeah, I think we need a key or something. What about if we go in here? I mean, literally it's right off the balcony. I I feel like there might be something in here. <gasps> ha! I found it! Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I'm going to a lot of trouble to save this spider, and I hope he recognizes that. Okay, let's turn this thing on. Yes! It's working! I thought it would, and we are getting very high up in the air. A little too high for me. Let's stop. <gasps> oh my goodness! It's okay. I, you're tiny, so you don't really scare me now. I guess I really freaked out. Hee <laughs> hee. Do you have a way down? A safe way? It looks like you figured that out, sir. I feel like spiders are able to like hang from the web and like down like Spider-Man, but it's fine. We're gonna go down together. I guess I gotta learn both ways of climbing. Appreciate you going out for your out of your way to help me and all. If I can return the favor one day, I will. Thanks a lot. Oh my gosh, he's gone. Once I get down from this insanely high skyscraper, it looks like we have to save a baby Enderman. So apparently he's not in like a life or death situation, but apparently he needs help at his mansion before his friends get here. What could this be? This looks a little more fun. I mean, it is, I'm going to a mansion. You are the cutie, you are the cutest Enderman I've ever seen, but it's also a little creepy. Thank goodness you're here. We need to be fast. My friends are coming over to my party any minute now and we haven't made the dessert yet. Follow me. Well, this does not really seem like a saving situation. It's more like I am helping you. Okay, we're making lemon meringue pie. I already preheated the oven and just made the meringue topping. You just need to make the pie. I need to go get ready for the party. Here's the recipe and the topping. Why don't you just hire a chef? I do like baking, so that's okay. But geez, eggs, butter, sugar, water, cornstarch, and lemons, easy. I'm gonna take a honey bottle in case I have to put the bucket of water into a bottle. We'll see. Add one stick of butter, easy. Add one cup of sugar, easy. I feel like I'm on a very intense timer. Bottle of water, cornstarch, two lemons, yes. Mix the mixture of, I. how do I mix it? I don't know how to mix it, mix. Oh, okay, you just hit it. That was easy. And furnace, yes. That makes sense. You know what? No, let's go down here. Blast furnace. We gotta get this fast. You gotta blast it. Ah! Okay, I put the pan in the furnace. Are you happy with me? Have I saved you? It looks like the party won't be complete, won't be a complete failure. Thank you very much. You may go now. Why, thank you. And you know what that means? We have to last but not least save a baby slime taken by a dragon. So I am here in armor yet again. I am a little concerned, but I do have my baby gas still with me. <gasps> Whoa, a gross bird. Brianna, I bet I could carry you now. That would be nice considering this baby slime is with a dragon. My baby gas has grown. It's taking us to a dragon. There's a tiny baby slime in a cage. That's not, I can save you. Just be really quiet, really quiet. Okay. No, 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 Don't bounce around. Shush, shush. This isn't good. He's definitely gonna wake up. Oh gosh. Whoa. The gas is doing a lot. Let me, let me get on the gas. Could I right? No. Oh my gosh. This gas is taking a lot of hits for me. I think I have to hit his head. I think that's the biggest target area, but I'm hiding behind the gas. It has fireballs. It's helping me shoot. But together we can defeat the ender dragon and save the slime. Oh, I feel bad that in order to save the slime, I had to defeat a dragon, but he did take this innocent little baby. Hey, little buddy. Oh, I picked him up. My little jello cube. We're gonna go down and take him out of the lair. Blurp, blurp. Whoa, we are going fast. A mailman? How did you find me in the middle of a dragon lair? Goodness, why did you have to be on literally the tallest mountain in the world? Got another package for you. This better be the last. Okay, that was rude. Why are you saying this better be my last package? What if people want to send me something nice? Like... A grappling hook? A letter? 
Well, you have done exactly as we asked. We have sent you the starter kit. Now you will be equipped to tackle even more difficult missions. It is only with people like you that order wins over chaos. We hope you continue to help those who cannot help themselves. Social Saving Syndicate. Well, I now have an SSS helmet, a grappling hook, and now I think it's time to save myself and take a bubble bath. This has been a long day. Oh, I'm in the middle of a forest and uh, Bob here is dressed to the nines, just chilling. Hello, would you like a trade? I can offer the sword at a very cheap price. Bob, you are very creepy. Why did you say hello twice? Why are you standing in the woods? Decline. I don't want your sword, <laughs> sir. Okay, he has nothing to say for himself. Well, we are going to go towards the cave. This web looks suspicious to me. The spider is frozen in his tracks, and I definitely see something up here. Since that spider is frozen, I am going to go up this way something just does not feel right oh oh i think i saw a name tag guys there is definitely a name tag up here i have to save somebody and save them fast oh my gosh oh baby siren had a stock guys make sure you look under this video and subscribe to save baby siren head he's actually really cute i have tamed him in another video so i think we can save him. Let's go back to creepy old Bob and get a sword. Now we all know that swords are the most effective at destroying cobwebs, so Bob, I appreciate your service. Oh, welcome back. Did you change your mind? Why, I did, except he took my emeralds. He took my emeralds. I didn't know that was part of this. <sighs> he technically is just like an old man villager. Why, thank you, Bob. It is time to save lives. Okay, let's come up with a good name for baby siren head. Sylvester? I feel like Sylvester is a good name. Um, Jimmy, Timmy. Let's go for Timmy. Timmy, I'm going to save you from the cobwebs, but you have to remember, I am here to save you, so you better... Bye, ah, he disappeared immediately. Yo, he is so fast too because he has his little little squiggly legs. Get back here, Timmy. Jimmy, I forgot your name already. I was just trying to help you. Come on. Distance from nearest footprint. Wait, is that what this is? This looks... Eh. Guys, I, I have a fear of holes and I feel like, I know that doesn't make sense. It's a thing though. They gross me out and that's kind of what it looks like. Okay, I'm getting a lot closer to the next set of tracks. Farther, farther. Let's see. Oh no, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. We're getting close, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. I'm for sure gonna find baby Timmy slash Jimmy and we are going to help him. Closer, closer and... Gotcha. Oh my gosh, there's more. There is more? <gasps> I think I see him. Doctor. Wait, excuse me? Why is there just a doctor? What is this? It's like Bob and this random doctor are chilling in the forest. Brianna, thank goodness you're here. It seems like this young siren head has broken his leg. Here, use this magical stethoscope to enter his body and help him heal. Literally. This is so sketch. There's Bob chilling in the forest. There's a doctor chilling in the forest. And this doctor has waited for me. Bree, save baby siren head with a magical stethoscope. Oh, broken leg. Fill the gap in with bone synthetic. This is a bad break. I think it's because he literally tried to get away from me so fast. I'm very offended by that. He could have been fine if he had stuck with me. Is this the gap? I can't even tell where all the gap is. Does that make sense? No. Nothing here. I am a professional doctor. I have played as a doctor in Minecraft before. So basically a professional at this point. I should just do it in real life. Totally the same thing. That is not correct. You know, go to medical school, play as a doctor in Minecraft. Now, I do have a question that I think is reasonable. What is bone synthetic made out of? I don't like the sound of it. Ah! I almost fell off the side of his bone. Almost done. We're about to save Siren Head in three, two, one. Synthetic bone placed. Bond the bones together now. Now bond the synthetic material together. Just a dab in a few areas is enough. Dab, dab. I have to do bonding gun. Um, click. Oh, 
I feel like that would hurt. There's fireworks going on in here. Oh! Let's go in the middle. Oh, I think I have to do it where the red sparkles are. Bonding placed. Fasten and bone together now. Great job. Now we need to fasten the synthetic material to the actual bone. Oh, a screwdriver. That is not gonna give, that is not gonna feel good. Like this video to ease his pain, guys. That's actually really cool. I'm not gonna lie. Whoa. One of my best friends actually had to have her hip replaced and she has screws in her hip. I'm basically getting to watch what happens. Well done, Brianna. Now all you have to do is bandage him up. Yet again, I am curious why the doctor has done nothing, but I love helping people and I'm a nurse. So we're just gonna bandage him up and, oh, he's so cute. Dude, really? How are you running so fast with a broken bone? <sighs> Yet again, we have a traitor in the middle of the forest. Now, he looks a little less suspicious. Hey, I've just seen some weird creature running away and it could fall in the near ravine. He will be here in about a minute, so hurry up if you want to help him. Oh wait, hold on, diamond shovel, falling grass. Oh my goodness, where do we set this trap? I've seen this before on TV. Well, the ravine is this way, so I'm gonna sprint over towards the ravine. We have to trap him with the falling grass before he can actually fall into the ravine. <gasps> yes, it is already glowing. This definitely is helpful. Now we just have to use the diamond shovel. Use the diamond shovel, help carve out where the falling grass should go. Oh my gosh. Okay, one more, one more. Falling grass, oh my gosh, hurry. I am not gonna make it in time. Almost done, oh my gosh. So we have patched it and now it's time to hide. I just gotta make sure this actually works and we trap him. We don't want him falling in here. Look at this. <gasps> He's coming this way. He's coming this way. Do you see his name tag? I see him. so easily and it's deep enough he's small enough he can't get out so this works very well i promise i just want to be your friend okay ah! oh my gosh he just escaped he didn't even wait for me seriously i don't know if it's worth working this hard to have a new friend okay so i followed him slowly into a village and who are you village leader he looks very official hello i'm the head of this village that strange creature was walking through the village and trampled on all our crops he is very feared in this land our skilled guards managed to catch him and put him in a cage where where is he i promise he's harmless oh then if you want him released you must help us your first task is to plant all the carrots that he destroyed. Oh my goodness. Um, this is a lot of carrots. Do I have to, do I have to do all of them? Maybe they just go in this field. This looks pretty easy. I'm just gonna trample on some soil real quick. I hope it still counts if I am walking right on top of these carrots. I might be harming the crops, but it's all to save baby siren head. I will say also that baby siren head did not ruin this entire garden there are some perfectly fine looking carrots in here so i'm a little offended i have a hundred and twelve more carrots to plant is there another farm over here i'm basically just doing the village leader's work for him i should be rewarded three two one plant yes inspect my work sir i did a beautiful job now set my friend free good job brianna now for your second task are you kidding me this village often has wolf attacks. We can't deal with them all, so you should help us get rid of them. Kill all the wolves. Oh, they are ferocious. This is concerning. Guys, I am a vegetarian in Minecraft. I love animals, so I actually hate this task with all my soul. I, I hate it. They are coming up really fast, too. They do quite a bit of damage. I hate this. I don't want to kill wolves. <gasps> There's one in his house. Oh, my gosh. Well, that is a little scary. We definitely don't want a rabid wolf inside your house. Is there another one outside? Last but not least, I'm sorry. Thank you for helping us, Brianna. Oh, Timmy Jimmy, I'm so sorry. We are gonna get you out of here. Oh, here he is, awesome. Please let him free. He's gonna think that it was me, but I promise I'm just trying to be your friend. How many times do I have to tell him this? Also, homeboy, you need saving. You keep getting in trouble. So much for a friend. 
Okay, I found him and he is chasing a bee. Why are you doing this? You keep getting in places that you shouldn't be and I've just had to save you. Maybe Siren Head just got sucked into a beehive. Oh my gosh, just in time, noob, I need your help. Hello, Brianna, what's up? Maybe Siren Head is trapped in the beehive. You've got to help me. Stuck in the beehive? Easy, just hit it with stick. Watch the master. Oh no. Bee swarming. Oh no. Noob, you can do this. I will help you. We are going to make it out alive. We have three bees left. Come back here. Oh my gosh, I'm poisoned. I'm poisoned. I don't know if I can last much longer. There's only two more bees. Where did Noob go? You mean bee? Bee swarming. Bees are attacking. Literally, did Noob die, guys? I haven't even seen him. I'm going to have to save the baby siren head and Noob. Wait, six bees left? You defeated all the bees. Who cares that I'm poisoned? Guys, well, why don't y'all check on new? I'm going to release baby siren head. <gasps> oh, he fell out of the hive, but he looks like he's in pain. Let's get some honey. It has nutritional factors and feed it to baby siren head. Yo, get back here. I don't even know why I'm trying anymore. I'm about to leave you in the beehive. We are at an excavation site and baby siren head is up on the platform. Yo, I have to save you again. I don't think he knows how to get down. How do I get over there? How did you get over there? Oh my goodness, this does not look easy. The ladder is broken. How did you break the ladder? You are such a mess. What is this chest here for? Ladder gun. That's convenient and not suspicious at all. Did somebody put you up to this? Are they trying to prank me? No, please don't leave. Oh my gosh, he keeps breaking the ladder so I can't even get to him. This is just me. Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna have to go back to the bottom and recreate the ladder that he broke. I don't know why he's so afraid of me. Okay, let's try to aim this just right. Three, two, one. Oh, I'm just missing one piece. I think we can do this though. Yes, completed the ladder. Now to complete this ladder that he also broke. Very rude of him. Whoever left the ladder gun jokes on you because this helped me get all the way to baby siren head to save him. Uh, guys, did any of y'all see baby siren head by chance? Oh no, I think we've lost him. We had been doing such a good job too. Oh my gosh, I traveled to this house and it is on fire. Either baby Preston is here or yet again, baby siren head is in trouble. Can I see him? Is he in here? I'm trying to look around the side of the house. <gasps> He's in there. I can't waste any time. There's still tons of flames, 28 to be exact. Let's fill this bucket here and try to put him out. I like how Siren Head, baby Siren Head is not even moving. He's just chilling in there. I am doing a lot of work to save this baby creature who doesn't even want to be around me. There he is, there he is. I'm about to save you. Check on baby Siren Head, I'm right here. Hey. I feel betrayed. <sighs> okay. Yet again, I have followed baby Siren Head and we have found some sort of spooky looking church, which is not something I would normally say. <gasps> oh, what is that? Ew, you, I don't like this. <gasps> He's in a cage again. Brianna, here for Siren Head? Don't bother. I'm looking out for him and I don't want him near a creepy skeleton. Siren heads are dangerous for this world. I'm trying to save it. If you're so adamant for me to release baby siren head, bring me an offering, undead essence, a church bell, and the skull of HP Lovecraft. Make haste, Brianna, my time in your world is almost up. This creepy skeleton does not belong in a church. I don't like that baby siren head is yet again in a cave. And what are you looking at? Let's look for undead essence. If I was undead essence, I would be in a graveyard. I feel like that makes sense. Un undead. I think this is a graveyard. Oh! oh, yo, I did not expect that. I can make it. I can make this work. We're gonna, we're gonna find undead essence. Maybe one of you are going to drop it. No, apparently not. They are one shot though. These are some weak zombies. Oh, hold on. I have three undead essences. I definitely don't need to fight with you guys anymore. I am getting out of here. Now I have to find a church bell. Um, let's see. Is there a bell tower? Hmm, a lot of times churches have really pretty bells that they ring. There's gotta be one around here. This church is super pretty. If I was a bell tower, I would be at the top of the church. So maybe that's all I need to do. Please zombies, do not attack me. I am trying to leave and make it to the bell tower. This looks like the bell tower and the hunchback of Notre Dame a little bit. 
It's got to be in here. This is an organ. Uh, I can't go any higher. Oh my gosh. He also said I am in a rush. So that's a little concerning. This has got to be it. <gasps> yes. I only have one thing left and that is HP Lovecraft skull, which seems like a strange request. I'm gonna see if his gravestone is outside. Baby Siren Head, you better love me after this because I'm going on. I'm doing a lot of things for you. Do they have names on the gravestones? Dude, no, I'm trying to save. I'm trying to save Siren Head. Guys, where is it? Oh my gosh, there's so many zombies. Oh my gosh, there's so many zombies that just jumped into this grave. This is overwhelming. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna make it. I have to slash heal, guys. Don't judge me. I just really want his skull to save baby Siren Ed. I think this is a glitch, guys. There's no way. Oh my gosh, yo, stop jumping in their grave. <gasps> I got it. Why? Th does he have two skulls? Oh my goodness. This has been the most stressful task I have ever been given. I don't think I can make it. <gasps> I've lost so much health. Okay, I have collected all the items and it is time to report to the king skeleton. Please accept these items and very good, Brianna, drop them here. Why, yes, sir. I can't believe I had a skull in my pocket, ew. Thank you, Brianna, good luck with Siren Head. Oh, he just disappeared. So did all the other skeletons. The cage is broken. I just saw hearts. I just saw hearts. Is he going to follow me? <gasps> yes, you guys, we finally did it. Do, 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 do. Oh, okay, guys. My parents always told me, unless you're expecting a visitor, definitely not to answer the door. But oh, it's the friendly little mailman. He kind of looks like Noob1234. Timothy, how can I help you? I have an urgent letter for you. The sender says that it's a matter of world security. Wait, what? We are the Society of Biome Security. We have heard grave news that a variety of special baby skeleton guardians of each biome are in need of help. With Without it, the biomes we know will perish should the babies die. We can think of no one better for this mission than yourself, and we place our trust and hope in you to save this world. Guys, I was just starting off my day. This is some intense news. Hey, well, I'm gonna grab my backpack, and y'all are gonna look under this video and hit that like button so we can save the world together. <sighs> we are now in the snow biome, and <gasps> he's so tiny. Hi, I'm melting and also the biome. Can you save it? He's right. There are patches of grass peeking through the snow and this little guy has water effects all around him. This is not gonna be good. Of course I can save you. There are only five minutes until the snow biome dies. This is a miracle. To save the biome, you've gotta go into the nearby village and destroy the electrical generator. These are some items to help you. Oh my gosh, there's already a countdown. I have an ice sledgehammer and an ice bow that should hopefully freeze any of the guards. I see right here where I need to go and that timer is running out fast. I'm gonna to get you security guard what's happening he's frozen in place that is perfect why can't i move this is too easy because my aim has gotten better the longer i've played minecraft so they are currently frozen um oh no oh no i just have to destroy this generator real fast okay i just have to do this that that was pretty intense uh, <gasps> i'm surrounded i'm surrounded this is not good this is not good please please i promise i'm innocent did you guys just see that? The snow killed the guards and the baby snow skeleton just fell out of the sky. Thank you, you saved the snow biome. Now, I feel pretty prepared for this one because the Jungle Book is an excellent movie and uh, I think he's an ancient god. We've got to sacrifice him. Yes, I'll prepare the fire. We have a jungle skeleton who is being trapped in the jungle. Well, luckily for me, I have flint and steel. Um, let's cause a distraction. I just have to stealthily and quietly, oh no, go down and light some stuff on fire. That should make them run away, I hope. Who would sacrifice a baby skeleton? That is very messed up. So he is right here, I believe. They're all looking up at something. So uh, I am just going to light a few things on fire and make them hopefully run away in fear. Ow, not me, not me. I didn't want to light myself on fire. I think that's enough. Let me get a bird's eye view of these guys. Run, why our village is on fire? Oh my goodness, oh, oh. Bye, have a great time. He almost bumped into me. Now's my chance, let's get this baby skeleton. Where is the baby skeleton? I thought he was right, oh! 
Oh no, uh-uh. Bree is not having this. We are uh, putting these fires out and I'll be with you soon, sir. Oh, poor thing. I think the dog is guarding the key. How do I get him to move? Um, is there a bone around here? This is the jungle. Is there a squirrel? Something we can feed this dog. <gasps> here we go. Ask and you shall receive. And we're just gonna toss that off. Yes, success. We have the key and we can save the baby jungle skeleton. I got him. Hi, little guy. Thanks, you saved me. Now I'll remove the fire. I don't want my jungle to burn. How thoughtful of you and powerful. He can bring the rain. The desert biome. No, 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 we can't forget about that. This baby skeleton's head is peeking up out of, this cannot be what I think it is. Are you stuck in quicksand? Time until the desert skeleton sinks. Hey, can you help me? I'm stuck. Yes, all caps, cause I'm yelling. There is a village right over here, it looks like. I have never been here before, but I would like to ransack your home, please, so I can save the skeleton. Please don't be locked. Please don't be locked. Awesome, a chest. This chest is locked. I don't care. I still have this ice sledgehammer and I'm not afraid to use it. Oh, we have water. <gasps> Rope, that's what I need. <sighs> okay, this is a lot of exercise in the desert. It is getting hot, but we have to do it to save Skelly the skeleton. So there's a fence post. All I need to do is attach the lead to the skeleton. I have the lead. We have the post. Time until the desert skeleton climbs out. So he's pulling himself up and wait, what is this? They are cute little cactus guys. Are they gonna hurt me? Oh, they hurt. Okay, they are prickly. We're gonna shear off their beautiful little, little, little pointy things. I don't know what to call them. Shear, why won't you shear? There we go. It's like shearing a sheep, except you're shearing a cactus. Totally the same thing. Oh no, 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 no. See, I hate to shear you because you're so cute, but you definitely hurt. Oh, he's getting closer. He's getting closer. Time is about to run out. I don't think the skeleton would allow you to do this to me if he was not stuck in quicksand. That's all I'm saying. He's about to get out. Yes! Oh, that was like a huge fling. Thanks for the help. Now I'll help you with these cactuses. Now I can remove this quicksand. These skeletons have legit superpowers. I am not kidding you. With one swoop of sand, he removed all the prickly cactuses and the quicksand's gone. Okay. Another successful save. Okay, we are here at the first biome. It is looking grassy. Ladies and gentlemen, this must be some sort of grass skeleton. And I unfortunately assume uh, that he or she is next to this really creepy looking bug and I don't wanna approach it. Do you see anything? Oh, he's been poisoned. So we have to defeat this bug and get an antidote to Timothy right now. Was that the name of the mailman too? I gotta be more creative. Okay, well don't worry. At all times I keep a bug swatter, which can be used to kill bugs in my backpack. Cause obviously that's a necessity. You don't need a pin. You need a bug swatter. Come here, take that. Oh, it dove at me and now I am also poisoned. Timothy, I'm stepping on you and I'm very sorry. Hey. Could you just fly away, you know, instead of fighting? You know how this is gonna end and it's not gonna be well for you, sir. Okay, I'm no longer poisoned, I don't think. Anyway, okay, my swatter is close to its last leg. Yes, time until the poison kills you. Oh, great, so we actually do have to make an antidote and fast. So I know we need an orchid. We also need a mushroom, cow droppings, and crow feathers uh, to be exact, in case you were wondering. So let's prime this crossbow because I see a beautiful crow flying up overhead. And this one's probably gonna take me the longest to get. Oops. No. Got him. Most impressive. I am never happy about, you know, having to kill a crow, but we, we have to save the baby skeleton. Oh, lucky for us. Actually, we found cow droppings. Now only need, I only need a mushroom now. Found it. Okay, we are in a very large hurry. We have to place down my handy dandy potion brewer and glass bottles. Uh, orchid, mushrooms, cow droppings, feather, and it's brewing. We have the antidote, ladies and gents. Okay, really quick, I'm gonna drink mine so I can help the skeleton. And where'd he go, where'd he go? Okay, here you go, sir. He's standing. Thanks a lot for the help, you saved me. Oh, what are you doing? What, oh, he disappeared. He disappeared into the earth. Apparently a grass skeleton stays 
in the grass. The more you know. A water skeleton. Hey, can you help me? Oh, oh, I see what he's talking about. There are like some water creatures emerging. Um, yes, sir. How can I help you? Probably by protecting him from these water mutants. Okay, let's load the crossbow and shazam. Excellent aim, Bree. I know. I, I know. I might need to get into the water if I'm going to get close enough, but guys, I am not a good swimmer. How many of these are there? I kind of want to get in on the action. I'm not going to lie. Let's get our sword and oh, this is kind of dangerous, but I like it. Oh, these are weak little water mutants. I say that and I'm soon going to die. I am surrounded by mutants. No, please, please. I'm too young to die. Ah, there's one last little guy chilling here. There you go, I saved you. Thank you. In order to clean the water, I need the heart of the sea. It is kept by the mutant water lord. I can't defeat him, he's too strong. Can you retrieve it for me? Oh boy, first of all, you need to take a bath. You are covered in coral and um, yes, but I'm probably not your girl for this because I'm a bad swimmer. The mutant water lord is at the bottom of the ocean at my left. This is some equipment to help you. Now, he didn't exactly tell me where this mutant lord situation is, but I'm gonna assume he's over this way and I did not receive water breathing. Awesome, this, this is gonna be fabulous. Here goes nothing. Oh my goodness, my bubbles are slowly running out. Oh my gosh, hold on, I have to come up for air before I try to defeat the mutant underwater lord, I am going to die. So we only have one option, to sneak up behind him and go shazam so we can steal the heart of the ocean. Now, I'm, I'm close to him still, right? Okay, that was way too easy. I am too strong, apparently. And now we have the heart of the sea. And I need to hurry and bring it to the surface. Before I die. Now I just have to return to the cute little water skeleton and try to save the ocean. Okay, little guy, you are going to love me because look what I brought you. Thanks a lot. Now I can clean the water with this. Oh, he's looking a little creepy. Okay, I'm just gonna back up out of the water <laughs> and to get out of here. I think it's safe to say we saved the ocean. It looks like something is taking over the forest. It does not look healthy. It's like withering away. Forest skeleton. Hi, the forest is dying because of a dark evil that invaded the forest. You need to destroy the mold, a mutated fungus hidden in the forest. Also, the animals are mutated now. Be careful. You don't have to stay in the forest for too long or you'll also become mutated. If you need help, use the summoner. You can use it once the mold is 50% of its life. This is stressful. Okay, he gave me the summoner. Now I need to look in my backpack. I have an antibacterial blaster that will destroy the mold as well as a crossbow. We have to be super careful. I don't know what is going to come lurking in the wilderness. The fox is mutated. I don't want to have to kill you, but I have to to save the forest. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. I have to run away for a sec to get my health back. Got him. That was awful. I hated doing that, but I'm supposed to save the forest, okay? Oh my gosh. I really don't have that much time until I become mutated. Mutated hunter? Are you kidding me? That thing is creepy. I am priming my crossbow. Do you think I can hit him from here? Let's sneak. He doesn't even seem to notice me. Oh! <gasps> I almost spoke too soon, but I got him. Don't worry, guys. Now, all I've done is use my crossbow. I have to use the antibacteria blaster. I think I found where it all started, right here. Ooh, okay, this thing works really fast. That's good. Mold life. It's almost down to 50%, guys. I've almost got it there. Wait, it's coming back. It's regrowing. You have no hope, mold, okay? You're going to die. The rainforest, on the other hand, has a ton of hope. Okay, I can't defeat that mold for some reason. Stop! Slow down! Oh my gosh, guys, we gotta pick up the pace or this thing is getting covered. We have to save the skeleton! Oh my gosh, it's not gonna stop! Let's use the summoner. There he is! Thank you for saving the forest. You will be remembered for generations. I'm honored. Okay, we are now in the rock biome and uh, why is he at the bottom of the cave? What's wrong, little guy? He looks like a rock. <laughs> I fell off the cliff. Oh, poor little 
guy? I am a nurse, and I know if you fall off a cliff, you are probably injured. What is in my inventory? We have a sleep potion, stethoscope, synthetic bone blocks, screws, screwdrivers, and bone growth cream. Okay, I already have the supplies. So this little rock skeleton, he's gonna go to sleep. That worked fast. Now we're gonna use a magical stethoscope to teleport inside and fix his bone. It's dark inside a skeleton's leg. That's all I'm saying. Now we have to patch this hole. We have a bunch of blocks in our inventory, so let's get started. You don't wanna get stuck in here. You know what happens if you're stuck in a skeleton's leg. You're never seen again. Goodness, he did some damage. Oh, okay. With the magical stethoscope, I was given the ability to fly. So that is definitely going to make this a lot easier for us. We're almost done. I think this should be almost it. <gasps> I missed one at the bottom. I saw that. Oh, I missed a couple at the bottom. Bree, how dare you? Synthetic bones placed. Now use the screws to hold it in place. Ooh, I have a screwdriver. Do I just place the screws first? Okay, here goes nothing. One, two, three, four. Now we gotta use the screwdriver. I know it looks painful, but I promise it's going to feel better soon. Now let's use the bone growth cream. Perfect. Wake back up. Here we go. Thank you. I'll go back to watch over the biome. Wow, that was a quick recovery. He is bouncy. Okay, safe to say we saved the rock biome. Last but not least, we are going to save the volcano biome. And they have a ton of meteorites falling from the sky. That's great. Great, great, great. Where is the baby uh, skeleton? Hello? I need to get in here. And uh, do I have to climb all the way to the top? There is no way I'm going to make it. Hey, can you help me? I've been burnt by lava. I need healing to get back this biome to normal. Wait, where is he? If he's injured, he has to be down by the ground. Hello, where are you? Hi, little guy. You're so cute. Oh, no. I just got pelted with a meteorite. Okay, we've got to help him. He apparently has been severely burned. I have another sleeping potion and a stethoscope. Come on, we've got to hurry. We definitely can't let a meteorite hit us right now. That would be absolutely terrible. We have synthetic bone blocks and burn cream and a scalpel. So let's get rid of all of the burnt bone. That is so gross. I am sorry, but ew. This is definitely a powerful scalpel though. It got rid of them real fast. Ew, 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 ew. Oh, okay. Well, well that worked out well. I'm just gonna heal it as I go along. Please don't have gross stuff in here too. Really? I don't like these things. He's got a lot of burns. How do you burn inside your bone? That's it's very intense. This is why I do not live in the volcano biome. Black lump slime. There's a light at the end of the biome. <laughs> Uh, that fake bones place. Now apply the burn cream. Yes, ma'am. Bone healed. Yay. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys, I think that the safety bureau should be very happy that you and I were able to save eight biomes in Minecraft today. Y'all have a blessed day. I will see you in my next video. And remember, if you get to my videos in the first hour of them being posted, I will read your comments and feature them down below. Bye.